in our last episode, we saw how to print stuff to output that gets sent to the web server and then back to the web browser. But that, as described there, is no better than an already existing HTML document. In fact, it's probably worse because you're interspersing all these Python commands and print and what's this ty content type line doing there in the first place. So we haven't really seen any good use of the program and the CGI connection that we talked about earlier. If we go to, say, the Wikipedia page on Comic Gateway Interface, uh, we see how we might start to be able to take advantage of that by going down to this section right here, which describes the way that the server communicates back to the, the program. It uses uh, what are called environment variables, and this is a list of some example environment variables. This is the list of all of them uh, right down here. And the environment variables give the information to the program that it wants to use. And so we need a way to be able to access these environment variables from our program. In order to do that, we need to, to do two things. Uh, the first thing is we need to import a Python module called OS because uh, environment variable is a way for the operating system to communicate information to a program and the web server uses those to set things up and so it's operating system specific. So I'm going to do something really simple. I'm just going to add in one additional line here. It, the operating system module provides a dictionary called environ that encompasses all of the environment variables. And then you can look up the particular environment variable that you want here. So I'm just going to, to cheat and print them all as, as one hash. So if I save that and go to the web browser and reload it and you, you can see that that's all in there um, in, in the form of this and, and we can do a for each loop and iterate through them specifically but you can see here's the environment variable HTTP cookie and its value is remember token equals some garbage code. There's another one, server software, script name, signature, and, and so forth. And we can use these values in our browser to help us. Uh, we got our request method here. It's a get. We have our, <coughs> excuse me, our query string uh, should be in here. Uh, if I can find it in this mass. Uh, right here, query string, it's empty because we haven't added something. So we can add something. We can say um, variable equals value. And now when we run it, we actually get the query string of variable equals value. We also get our HTTP URI, right, the, the full thing which includes the query string and so we can use any of these values that we want. And if we were to do a, a post, the, we would get that data some, somewhere else. But this gives us all these kinds of information that, that we can use. So 